All right, hey Gemini. So we're taking a look at a love connection moving into June. This is gonna be the connection that confuses you, that kind of leaves you just in limbo. You're not sure how to feel about it. Okay, so we're just gonna take a quick look and see what's happening with this. You're gonna know this is your read by your energy and how this person makes you feel. If you don't resonate with that, you guys, check your other placements, um, subscribe, Click the notifications bell so you can see these other reads come through as they will be put out over the next day or two, okay? Um, if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you guys stick around if you like my vibe. And I'm just going to um, jump into this. So honestly, um, you guys are four of four reads. I hope that this is as positive as those other reads have been. We got Taurus, Cancer, Aries, and then you, Gemini, um, are out first. All right, so everything overall has been pretty awesome i like these reads um it just gives clarity and it, i feel like really collectively it shows how everybody's kind of leveling up releasing purging and just letting go of what doesn't serve us so that we can actually call in what we want for our highest good all right so your current energy your current energy where are you at gemini oh look at that so we have the magician card coming through right here the two of cups. Oh, wow. So you guys are like manifesting. I feel like you're manifesting communication or you have manifested communication. All oh, this water energy. You guys could be dealing with a water sign. Um, that's you right there, the magician card. Okay. So I really feel like you guys could be in a place of harmony right now, um, of joy. Okay. Even if the connection is not here yet, you know that something big is about to unfold for you when it comes to a new chapter, when it comes to matters of the heart. I'm saying that because the Two of Cups, that's a, a soulmate card, but it's also deep, deep, deep communication. And I can't help but feel like that communication has already arrived. You guys have started talking, started communicating, um, especially if in the past you felt the heavy sense of this person is very confusing. It's frustrating. I don't know where I sit with them. Okay. So it could be that things are good now, but the reason why you're here is for a confirmation. It also could just be to see if that you're still going to see um, some of the same glimpses of what you've already saw when it either comes to this person or when it comes to situations of the past that leave you just kind of, uh, you know, dreading the worst of the worst. Uh, it could be a brand new person. It could be a brand new situation and um, it could be all lovey-dovey in your feelings, but... Um, you know, sometimes we get in our head in such a way that uh, it's like, okay, but what, you know, it's, everything seems too perfect, so what's coming next, right? And it could be that this person hasn't given you any red flags, you haven't seen anything confusing about them, but you start picking up um, feelings and emotions and energy from the past. I got to tell you to leave that in the past, please, because you don't want to manifest that. And even me saying that, I'm sorry for bringing it up, but I'm not sorry, because um, I got to say it. Um, the reading itself is a confusing, um, the energy of confusion, right? Um, it, I can't help but feel like where you guys are at is um, it could be that you are definitely coming into reconnection with this person. The reason why I say reconnection is because this is all positive energy, um, you know, but definitely it's appealing to you because at one point in time, I feel like you have felt confusion or frustration when it comes to this situation. So when it comes to the person, let's just see how it is they make you feel how this person makes you feel. Okay. Look, the two, yeah, you guys have definitely had some past energy with this person. Um, I've had to keep my guard up a little bit. I've had to protect my heart. Okay. With the seven of cups right here, it could be that in the past, this person has kind of treated you like an option. It doesn't mean with other people. It could mean with a job, with children, with whatever. It's like, you know, that they don't make time for me. Um, I, I don't feel like I'm a high priority. I don't feel like I'm a, in, in deep, like, consideration when it comes to what this person has going on in life. Okay, so I've had to protect myself from this person. I've had to protect my energy. I've had to protect my peace. But even through doing that, it's like that sun card comes through because every time you see their name pop up on your phone, every time they call or text or every time they want to make plans. It's like instantaneous happiness. Okay. So while I feel like this um, energy could have left you frustrated, annoyed, confused in the past overall, it's like they do bring that smile to your face. They do bring you joy. Okay. And right here, it's like, you're here because you're telling me, Becky, I don't want to go through anything else with this person. Like, I don't want to ask questions. I don't want to feel confused. I don't want to feel um, like I'm hanging on by a thread. I don't want to give up, but you know, I kind of feel like I'm at my, 
the end, especially if they're coming through all sweet and tender and, and making you fall into it again, um, only for you to be asking these same questions, right? So let's just see who it is you're dealing with. What is their energy? Their energy. So you could be dealing with Scorpio Aries, Sagittarius coming through very deeply. He actually showed up in reverse. I'm not going to keep him in reverse for now just because you got the 10 of wands. You got the, okay, so what we have here is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius. So heavy Scorpio coming through, heavy Sagittarius. Um, you know, I, I mean, definitely you guys might be on it with the Scorpio though. I'm going to, I'm going to say that. All right. So as far as their energy, this person, um, with the tower card, it does show that they've been through a lot. They're going through a lot. Okay. Trials and tribulations. This could be energy that's happened outside of you and with inside of the connection. All right. With the king of wands coming through in reverse, that could be somebody with low self-confidence, low self-esteem, somebody who doesn't feel really confident or really good about themselves. And if they exude this uber, uber amount of confidence, it could be honestly that they have been a player in the past, that they have played games, um, that you've seen some of those games, um, whether it's within this connection or externally, it could be that, you know, you've seen some of that um, transpire with this person. But what I'm going to tell you is this, I feel like this person, all right, I feel like you guys have had a disconnection once or twice. I feel like you're going to be able to recognize this person has gone through a lot or they're going through a lot and their shit just maybe just quite ain't all together yet. But you know what? This person is somebody who's very determined and you're going to see that. And it could be one of the things that you give them kudos for, whether it's verbally or just in your heart. You know, you're just like this person has been through a lot, but you know what? It doesn't that that, that does not give them per permission to treat anybody like an option. It doesn't give them permission to confuse others. And if they are confused when it comes to life and what what it is they're going through, then don't put your heart in situations that you're going to make people question their own heart, right? Um, with the chariot card coming through, I really feel like this person is pulling out of whatever it was that was maybe troubling beforehand. Okay, that's that's what I'm seeing with this energy. So let's see how this person feels about you. How does this person feel about you right now? Oh, yeah. You guys have definitely had some in and out energy. Look, you're like loyal you're committed to yourself. You are, you know who you are. You know your value. You know your worth. Okay, this person knows that they've taken advantage of you more than once when it comes to the past energy, holding on to feelings of remorse, sadness, guilt, frustration. I hope that you have not let go. It could be too that you have actually said to this person, like, I can't deal with you anymore. I'm not going to deal with it. Um, you know, you could love the heck out of this person. It doesn't matter how long you guys have been connected. You could really enjoy their energy and their vibe, but it's like, I can't, um, the type of energy you're putting out there and the lack of effort that you're putting out there, I can't deal with it. Okay. It's, it's like frustrating to this person. Um, especially if you've been one that's been like all about them. Like I, I, if you have been so all about this person, it's almost like they've let you down. That's what I'm feeling with this energy. I can't, you know, I can't let Gemini down. All right, how this person feels about you. They see you as somebody with a high value. And it's like, how can I match that? I've already disrespected the tone. This person knows that, you guys. If you have felt disrespected from this person, they know that they've disrespected you. Um, there is nowhere to go now but to um, hands and knees. Like, I don't, I don't want to lose you. I really don't want to lose you. This person knows they've took advantage of you. Your heart, your kindness, your generosity, your care, your efforts. Okay. And they know that what they've done with this connection is essentially kind of destroyed themselves internally a little bit. So let's see as this connection comes back around um, what their intentions are. What are their intentions? Because I feel like it's already here. I feel like it's already here. What are their intentions? So we have the three of cups. Wow. Six of cups energy. It's like I want I full on want to come back. Okay. Look, I have I've tossed <laughs> this right here is like I've been too busy. I've not taken notice of you. There's been a lot of past energy, okay, that has transpired. All right, this person knows. They know how they've dealt with you, Gemini. Um, and it's like, no, I can't do that no more. Two, three, four. You guys could be seeing repeating numbers. Two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. The four of wands, the three of cups. This person is right here saying, like, as far as my intentions are, I know, I, I like, I, I can't, I'm, I'm not going to, like, it's almost like they've lost you or they know that they are just like that close 
or that that thread um it's like it's almost just completely disintegrated this person knows that they can't play games they know they know that they are like this close to losing you guys um it's like their intentions are to put the decision out there they're going to make an effort they're going to make it come through in the ways that you wanted them to and the, the ways that you've needed them to as far as it, an alignment partnership right they're here to fully return so let's just see what's unfolding um like what's coming through like what what do you guys have to look forward to when it comes to this connection S taking it slow and steady wow um you got that page and the knight of cups oh my god you guys look like basically what's unfolding and what's coming next you guys look reflections of the past all right this right here is repairing healing growing past the mistakes the lack of progress procrastination the failures the wounding um but taking it slow if you guys can actually manage this connection to move slow and steady and not bring up the past not dwell on it not focus on it but focus on the future moving forward you guys have like prime energy to truly come through and reflect this back to each other as soulmates. And the thing is about this connection is I, I feel like I'm dealing with two people who've never even had a commitment. It's like the energy is there. The feelings are there. The love is there. But I, I truly feel like I'm dealing with somebody who's had so much in and out energy that maybe you guys have not even been able to label yourselves as a couple. But what you see here is divine, divine couple. Okay. And these two cards showed up right there in the upright. So it's like, hey. All right, let's reflect on the past. Let's heal. Let's grow. Let's let's manifest what we want to see moving forward. It's like this person, I almost feel like they've kind of, um, they might have uh, uh, escaped by that one last time. Like if you were at your wit's end, this person is like really coming through and saying, no, I'm not going to let you let me go. I'm going to come back around and I'm, I'm going to fix it. Like this person is here and they're saying, I'm going to fix everything. Um, I just feel like this is too pure of a connection for this person to let go. And, and they could have been playing around so much that you're just like enough, enough like this right here. Oh my God. It's beautiful. I haven't seen that in any of the reads, you guys. Um, God, it's almost like all jokes aside, you're actually my soulmate. Ugh. I can't believe this. Anyways, initials coming through EQ, NY, and BG. All right, Gemini, leaving it here, sending you guys so much love. Take care.